How's it going everyone? My name is JJ and in this Pokemon guide I'm going to be showing you where to get all of the star pieces on Pokemon Black and White. So in this video I have got 6 locations to get individual star pieces, 5 locations for 6 individual star pieces. So we're starting off at the Charge Stone Cave, we've entered the Charge Stone Cave from the actual exit and we're going to go down 2 flights of stairs and we're going to carry on going this way until we uh, until we hit some more stairs. I'd also recommend bringing some repels with you as obviously as you can see we've got a bit of uh, cave running to do. Go ahead and use the Dowser Machine and you'll see that over on this wall if you press A you'll get a star piece next one is at the dragon spiral tower now if you head inside the actual tower we now need to ascend towards the top of the tower again i'd recommend bringing some repels of you for this one as there's a fair amount of running as well as a pokemon at no strength on top of this so go ahead go up these stairs and then go through this hole in the wall now go up these stairs these spirally stairs then go down and choose this bottom option for these jumps then go over towards the left still, going up more spiral stairs, then out the next doorway. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and carry on making your way progressively towards the left hand side. Up all these stairs until we're gonna <laughs> until we run out of repel, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and chuck on another repel and you're going to find another doorway coming up now. Here we go, go up these stairs here and then go through this doorway. Now we're going to see loads of Pokeballs on the floor. We're going to go for the first one that we see. Go over to the right, across the little bridge part. Back over towards the left, over across the next little bridge section. Then we're going to press A on the Pokeball and get a star piece. The next one is at the Challenger's Cave. So go ahead and enter the cave and then go down the set of stairs to enter the cave properly. Go over towards the right and then go past these two thin rocks and then go down the stairs between them. Go, uh, go ahead and go onto the water and use Surf. Once you're on the water, you're going to surf all the way over towards the right hand side. And you can either get off on the higher platform or the lower platform. Get off at the higher platform and then we're going to progressively make our way over towards the left hand side. You can kind of just follow the route round as there's only really one, one way to go. And again, of course, bring some repels for you as we're in a cave. And there is a trainer battle here, so just be cautious of that. There we go, perfect. Like I said, carry on going over towards the left. You kind of basically do a lot of zigzagging, left, right, left, right, down. Eventually, you're going to come across this way, down these stairs here, and then we're going to go across this big bridge, this big bridge right here, all the way over towards the left-hand side. Now we're over at the part we need to be. You're going to see a rock right here. Press A on the rock and get yourself a star piece. Next up, we're at the giant chasm once you enter the chasm you're going to go over towards the left and then you're going to go over to this boulder and use strength once you've used strength obviously you can see a pokeball and i'm sure you can guess inside the pokeball will be a star piece so that's one and we've also going to get a, ourselves a second star piece at a giant chasm exiting out where we just got got into that little section past the boulder head all the way to the top of this room and then you're going to see another boulder for us to move go ahead and move it grab ourselves a star beast from the pokeball next up we're at the pinwheel forest i've left this one for the end because there's a bonus one after this but this is the last uh, actual location i've left this on because you can actually do this unlimited times what you will need for this is a pokemon you will need a fighting type Pokemon and of course some repels so enter the forest and then go over this way progressively towards the right hand side up these stairs and you're going to come across a big rock called the challenge rock press a on the challenge rock with your fighting Pokemon and it will then basically punch a rock and give us a star piece you can do this once a day for a star piece every single day if you change the date or time on your DS or your PC you can then get more of the uh, of the star pieces by doing it over and over and over and the same concept will apply with this guy that we're chatting to currently this guy is on route 13 and he will have a whole catalogue of items for you to get for free again if you chat to him once a day he will give you a free item a day so simply change the date or time on your computer or ds depending on how you're playing and then speak to him again immediately he'll give you another item 
go ahead and change your date or time again and you'll get another item. You can basically repeat this over and over unlimited times until you get a star piece. With this guy it's not as certain because obviously he has a big catalogue but with the challenge rock you've got plenty of opportunities to get unlimited star pieces. Finally very quickly we're going to head to Isorus City and go inside the Pokemon Center, chat to this guy in the brown at the back and he will purchase your star pieces for you from you for 9,800 Pokedots which this is the best way to sell them. That's where to find all the star pieces on Pokemon Black and White. If you're new around here then I make simple Pokemon guides for all different Pokemon games so be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you next time for another video. Bye.